Paul from Lock Assist. I'd like to show you and help you a little bit today of how you can adjust your own door closes. Ideally these sort of things up here, they should be closing the door nice and smoothly without any banging. You can adjust the speed and you can adjust the strength as well. And what I'm going to do today is just show you how you can do it yourself. This sort of door closer is more a commercial variety. It's used more on flats and commercial buildings, businesses, offices, that sort of thing there, and meets the fire regulations. The better quality ones tend to have a cover over the top. Once you remove this cover, which is normally either clipped on or held on with a couple of screws, that will allow you to get to the adjustments so that you can adjust the speed and also the power of the closing. Okay, now you can see that the cover has been taken off. You can see the actual closer body and there's also some writing on this particular one. This is an older style one. And then the adjustments that you need to make are on the end. Sometimes on other closers, you'll find that the adjustments are maybe on the front, but it depends on the make and the closer and also the age. This particular one, as you can see, has got two positions, latch action or no latch action and the part in the middle there, the small screw, that is the actual closing speed. So on this particular one, if you look on here, you can see that the upright adjustment on the outer ring is vertical and it's nearest to the body of the door. So that will mean that this has no latch action on this particular closer. If it was the other way around, you can put a screwdriver in and twist it around so it ends up in this position, in a vertical position, and that will give it a latch action. That essentially gives it a little bit more of a, of a push and a little bit more power on the last position of closing to overcome the resistance and the friction of the latch sliding over the receiver. And if you need to adjust the closing speed, so maybe it's closing too fast or it's not closing fast enough, that centre screw, if you turn it clockwise, which is sort of to the right, that will make the closer slow down. And if you turn it anti-clockwise, that will make the closer speed up. The adjustments here are very fine, so a quarter of a turn may be all that you need to solve the issue that you have. So once you've made your adjustments, give the door a few goes, open it at fully 90 degrees or more, depending on how much it allows it, the door to open. Give it a few goes at making sure that it's closing nice and quietly. It's not gonna cause any problem to anybody. Let's give that another go and then we'll give it a go. I've given it a couple of goes while we've been off camera. So make sure there's no banging at the end. Let's have a listen. That's perfect. So all we need to do now is to put the cover back on and we're finished. Well, there you go. I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into how door closers work and how you can adjust them quite easily yourselves. If you have any problems with them or you don't feel confident after this little training session that we've done together of doing it yourself, please do get in touch with us at our office in Haywards Heath. Our number is 01 4 244 344. And if you, indeed you need any door closures replaced, you can call in, ideally bring a sample with you so you can, we can tell what door closure you have. We can match it up so it'll go back in the same place that the other one came from. Anyway, till next time, happy door closing.